If we remember from the last lesson, a one-dimensional array stores data in a single row going in one dimension horizontally. We used the metaphor of buckets on a pole. However, sometimes we need to store information in a grid format where information is stored in rows and columns. Have you ever played the board games Chess, Drafts or Battleships? For example, you can see here a typical chessboard with all the pieces set up for the start of a game. The pieces are located in rows and columns. This is a two-dimensional array. It is basically a grid with each square having its own coordinates. Each square needs two numbers on it to identify its row and column location. In array terms, a two-dimensional array can be thought of as a collection of one-dimensional arrays, except instead of having one index number for the row location, it has two index numbers for the location of rows and columns. Going back to our idea of buckets on a pole, a 2D array of five columns and two rows might look like this. Each bucket has two numbers on it now, showing its location in a row and column. Each bucket has a number in it, which is its data value. Two-dimensional arrays are created in a manner very similar to creating one-dimensional arrays. In the following examples, we are going to create an array called MyNumbers to store the integers 20, 25, 30, 35 and 40 in the first row and 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 in the second row. This is kind of like having two one-dimensional arrays. In Python, again we must use lists as an alternative to arrays. Specifically, we use nested lists. This is where we have lists within lists, a bit like how we learn about nested loops are loops within loops. To create our 2D array in Python, we would write this. You can see in this code that we have a pair of outer square brackets. Inside these square brackets, we define our two lists and separate them by a comma. So we've basically created a list and that list contains two lists, which are our two rows. This will give us an array which looks like this. As before, it is not possible to mix data types within a single 2D array. You could not have one row of integers and another row of strings. To get data out of a 2D array, we use the row and column index of each element. Let's look at our 2D array from the beginning of the lesson. So looking at this, element 1, 2 contains the number 4. If we wanted to print this out in Python, we could say this. Looping through a 2D array requires the use of a nested for loop. The outer loop deals with the rows. The inner loop deals with the columns. So, 2D arrays are used when you want to store table-based data in rows and columns. Each element has two index numbers, indicating the row and column of its location. To get data in or out, you need to use both numbers. To get all the data out of the array, you need to use a nested for loop.